Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing video of a Constellation Crystal line that was sent over to me by the company Avila Crystals. So I'd like to thank Avila Crystals for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I have in the last year or two been getting a lot into meditation. I've shared about that on my channel before. Really just starting a spirituality journey. Crystals are a huge part of spirituality. They're a huge part of meditation. They're really good at setting moods and just creating a great atmosphere in general in your home. So what I really love about this crystal company is that they are really great for beginners. As you guys will see in the unboxing, each set of the Zodiac comes with six crystals. I think that these are the best crystal sets for beginners. I think they make amazing gifts. I know I'm gonna be giving a lot of these away to my friends that are into spirituality. I think that you know Christmas is coming up, the holidays are coming, and I think these would be really great gifts for anyone that you might know, especially coming into the new year. It'll bring a really fresh, good energy. I'm gonna start with Scorpio because we are in Scorpio season right now. I'm a Scorpio, my birthday is on November 6th, it's coming up. So basically the Zodiac line is designed to bring good energy into your life to eliminate negative energy, which we all know. <laughs> we all need a little bit of that, especially coming up into the holiday season. These boxes are all based on the specific traits of each Zodiac sign. As you can see just from the box, it's very nice, it's really beautiful packaging. So when you open it up, the first thing you'll see at the top are the crystals that come in the set. And for the Scorpio, for mine, it comes with red jasper, which is an excellent worry stone, amethyst, citrine, labradorite, assist Scorpio facing changes and challenges protecting from negativity. I really need this one because as you guys will find out shortly, there are a lot of big changes coming up in my life. Black obsidian, which is a grounding stone, and then also green fluorite. And then it comes with little cards that just kind of talk about the company a little bit, and then more information about the zodiac sign, Scorpio. When you open it up, here are all the crystals that are in this box. And I love, right off the bat, I'm really loving that they're large. They're not these like little crystals. I've ordered crystals before in the past off of like Etsy or something and they just come with like little tiny things and they're so expensive and it's just not a good value. But this is fantastic. Look how big the green fluoride is. Like that's like the size of my palm. That's so nice. And I can tell right off the bat that these are really nice quality stones. Um, a lot of you guys know that I used to be in the jewelry business so I know about quality gems. I love the citrine. I have lots of rings with citrine in it. That's a birthstone for the Scorpio. So I'm very excited to try meditating with these. I think that it'll make a big difference in manifesting life that I really want to have in 2022. It's just unbelievable to think that we are at the end of 2021. These last few years have just blown by for me. It's really wild. So the next box I'll show you is for Sagittarius, which fun fact, I was actually supposed to be a Sagittarius. I was born early. I think I was, my mom is watching, she'll leave a comment below. I think I was six weeks early or something like that. It comes with the same cards talking about the company and then also the same zodiac sign. And the crystals in this one, wow, these are really pretty too. Lapis Lazuli, I'm sorry if I butcher some of these. Citrine. Tiger's Eye, promotes wealth and luck. That's a good one to have. Clear Quartz, Labradorite, the same one that was in the last one, and Black Obsidian that was in there too. Lucky Stone to possess mainly because it may turn bad luck into good luck. So very interesting. The next one is Capricorn, which I don't think I, I only know one Capricorn, which is a cousin of mine. <laughs> I really love these boxes. I think they're so cool, so pretty. Even just as decoration, like, like I'll put my Scorpio one on my shelf. So in the Capricorn, this one comes with tiger's eye. So I'm seeing a little bit of a repetition. I guess there, a lot of these are coming with some of the same crystals. Tiger's eye, black ascidian, green fluorite, clear quartz, garnet, and red jasper. The garnet says it brings Capricorn joy and hope, strengthens courage, hope and trust, helps lessen anger. I really love how these are all handpicked to fit the specific zodiac. So next we have Aquarius, which one of my best friends is an Aquarius. I'm gonna be sending her this box, my friend Scout. I've posted vlogs with her in the past, so I think she'll really appreciate this because she's super into spirituality. And wow, this is these are some large rocks in here. These are really, really nice. This one is my favorite box so far. Comes with clear quartz, blue ap apatite, green fluorite, red rose quartz. I love rose quartz, garnet, and amethyst. I love the rose quartz. Encourages selflessness and unconditional love. So sweet. 
But wow, this is a beautiful one right here. And this is the blue appetite. Sim appetite. <laughs> I know I'm not saying that right. Simulating creativity and intellect, expands knowledge and truth, eases sorrow, apathy, and anger. I know my friend's really gonna love this. This will be one of her Christmas gifts, so doubt if you're watching. <laughs> Look for a package in the mail. <laughs> and the next one is Pisces, which is February 19th to March 20th. Ooh, I love Tiger's Eye. Look at this, it's so pretty. This one comes with Amethyst, Labradorite, Clear Quartz, Kyanite, which I haven't seen yet. Helps with communication issues and aid in repairing relationships. That's interesting. That's this stone here. And Tiger's Eye Green Fluorite. Seems like the green fluorite is in almost all of these, and it seems to be something that is very helpful. So the next one is the Aries, which is March 21st to April 19th. This one comes with the same Kyanite. Cleanses and opens your mind. Helps areas communication, fighting through fear and blockages. Clear quartz, citrine, stone of the success, which brings good luck. Green aventurine, opportunity stone for areas, especially in manifesting prosperity and wealth. That's this one. Very cool. Amethyst and red jasper. Okay, and the next we have Taurus, which is April 20th through May 20th. So Rob is a Taurus. And apparently the Taurus and Scorpio are the most compatible zodiac signs. So yes, I looked that up. Yes, I'm a loser. <laughs> wow, these are really pretty in here too. So this one comes with rose quartz, clear quartz, garnet, green aventrine, and kyanite, and carnelian, which I haven't seen yet, which says assists Taurus with increasing physical energy levels and promoting mental strength and fortitude. That's a beautiful stone. Let me see if I can get this to focus. I love the color on this one. It's very cool. So next, we have Gemini, which is one of the zodiacs that I hear everyone complaining about. Don't know why. One of my old, well, she doesn't make YouTube videos anymore, but one of my old favorite YouTubers, um, Paulina Baragova, um, is a Gemini. So I like Geminis, which is May 21st to June 20th. And this one comes with a big tiger's eye. Green fluorite, green ab aventurine, citrine, labra labra labradorite. <laughs> like, really struggling with that one. And blue appetite. Correct me in the comments if I'm saying that wrong, but I really love this green fluorite. Very, very cool. I think there's just something so nice and relaxing about having a bunch of plants and a bunch of crystals in your home. Like you can put them in the shower. When I lived on the boat, I used to have crystals in my shower like trying to harness all the good energy i could get <laughs> i needed it <laughs> but i love having them just around the house the so next we have cancer which is june 21st to july 22nd and the crystals in this box well wow, these are all very large green aventrine carnelian it says gives cancer courage promotes positive life choices and motivates for success rose quartz green fluorite Labradorite and clear quartz, which symbolizes purity and power. That's what this box looks like. Next we have the Leo, which my stepsister is a Leo and she is the funniest person that I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Her name's Robin. So red jasper, citrine, garnet, tiger's eye, clear quartz, and carnelian, which is the stone of passion enhances Leo's bold, courageous, passionate, and ambitious nature. And that's so true. My stepsister is so bold <laughs> like she's just has the most strong personality of probably anyone that i've ever met and it was so funny like growing up with her because we were kind of like the opposite <laughs> like i've always been a little more quiet and she's always been the life of the party next we have virgo august 23rd to september 22nd here we have citrine which says activates virgo's imagination brightening more creative visions to a clearer mind we have garnet Lapis Lazuli, which says relieves negative thoughts and emotions. Green Aventurine, Tiger's Eye, and Carnelian. And then last, but not least, <laughs> I know a lot of fantastic Libras. September 23rd to October 21st. And in this box, we have Rose Quartz, Blue Appetite, Black Ascidian, Citrine, Lapis Lazuli, and Clear Quartz. The Black Ascidian says strong Strongly protective stone helps Libra against negativity. May stimulate the gift of prophecy. Interesting. So these are all the boxes that I got. I think it's such a cool concept and I think it, it's really nice because I feel like, especially now with the whole pandemic, I feel like during the lockdown, a lot of people had the opportunity to take a step back and 
I feel like a lot of people started getting into spirituality. That's exactly what happened with me. Like that's how I started my spirituality journey. I started meditating. I did, like you guys know, I did Joe Dispenza's um, nine week meditation course and just totally changed my whole life. I was able to basically reprogram a lot of my subconscious and just change a lot of my personality for the better and just make better choices in life. So I think it's very cool that this company you know, has these little starter kits that makes it easy because I think it's really overwhelming. The whole realm of spirituality, not just crystals, but there's so much information to take in and there's so much to learn. And I just, I really love that this company makes it easy for beginners. So I will leave a link in the description and I hope you guys check it out. And thank you so much to A Villa Crystals for sending me the whole Zodiac line that was really, really generous. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment below. I want to know what your favorite crystal is and if you've started going on a spirituality journey and I would love to hear from you guys. So make sure to leave a comment. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.